Here is your Golfer's Almanac for June 7th. Today is the birthday of Keegan Bradley, born Keegan Hanson Bradley in 1986 in Woodstock, Vermont. His father is a club pro, and so Bradley was introduced to golf at a young age. He played golf for the St. John's University Red Storm in the Big East Conference and won nine times in his collegiate career. He turned pro in 2008 and was a rookie on the PGA Tour in 2011 when he won the Byron Nelson, and then the first major he entered, the PGA Championship at Atlantic Country Club. In the final round, Bradley triple bogeyed the 15th hole and was trailing Jason Duffner by five shots with only three holes to play. Bradley went birdie-birdie on 16 and 17, while Duffner had three bogeys in a row. They ended up in a tie after regulation. In the three-hole playoff, Bradley was one under and beat Duffner by one. Bradley became only the third golfer after Francis We Met and Ben Curtis to win a major in his first attempt. He has four wins on the PGA Tour in his career to date. Last month, he was second at the Wells Fargo Championship to Max Homa. Bradley is the nephew of LPGA's Pat Bradley, winner of 31 events and six major titles on the LPGA. Happy birthday, Keegan. Today's also the birthday of Hillary Lunky, born Hillary Homeyer in Edina, Minnesota in 1979. She attended Stanford University and turned pro in 2008. The next year, she won the U.S. Women's Open at Pumpkin Ridge near Portland, Oregon. She beat Kelly Robbins and Angela Stanford in an 18-hole playoff. This was Lunky's first and only LPGA win. She's also the first player to win the U.S. Women's Open after qualifying through local and sectional events. Happy birthday, Hillary. Dean Martin was born on this day in 1917 in Steubenville, Ohio. He was one half of the legendary Martin and Lewis comedy team and co-starred in the 1953 film The Caddy with Jerry Lewis and Donna Reed. Ben Hogan, Sam Sneed, Byron Nelson, and Julius Boros all made cameo appearances. Five days before The Caddy was released, From Here to Eternity came out, also starring Donna Reed. She won the Best Supporting Actress Award for her work in From Here to Eternity and not for her role in The Caddy. Martin went on to become a part of the Rat Pack, along with Sammy Davis Jr., Peter Lawford, Joey Bishop, and Frank Sinatra. He's one of only 13 celebrities to have a golf tournament named after him. The Dean Martin Tucson Open was held from 1972 to 1975. Later, this became the Joe Garagiola Tucson Open and is the only PGA Tour event to have been named for two different celebrities. On this day in 1900, John Henry Taylor, J.H. Taylor, won the Open Championship at St. Andrews, his third Claret Jug. This was a two-day tournament with 36 holes played on each day. Taylor won 50 pounds for his victory, eight strokes better than Harry Varden. On this day in 1941, at the U.S. Open at Colonial, Craig Wood won his second consecutive major, beating Denny Shute by three strokes. Wood won the Masters a few weeks earlier. Some eight years earlier, Shute beat Wood in the 1933 British Open. The 1941 U.S. Open was the first time the national championship was played in the South, and due to the tremendous success of the event, the Colonial Country Club started its own annual tournament, the Colonial National Invitational, in 1946, the longest non-major PGA Tour event held at the same venue. On this day in 2016, the first Women's Golf Day was held, a one-day celebration introducing women to the game of golf as well as celebrating female golfers. Today is the seventh Women's Golf Day with more than 900 locations in 68 countries participating. Here's a quote today from Babe Dietrichson Zaharias. Golf is a game of coordination, rhythm, and grace. Women have all these skills to a high degree.
That's it for today in golf history. Play fast, repair all the pitch marks you can find, and keep your golf ball in the short grass. Your Golfer's Almanac is a Golf Tunes production. It's written, produced, and narrated by me, Michael Duranko. I invite you to check out our original golf illustrations and the humor essays that accompany each of the golf cartoons. Tour Backspin is a weekly golf history newsletter that celebrates the PGA Tour in the 1960s and 70s with tie-ins to today's tour. They offer a bunch of content, contests, and other interesting bits. See the link in the show notes and subscribe.